like currently which cha was in your using i am currently using 11 okay great so let's start from the basic java questions and uh, like uh, do you know about like uh, in a java we have encapsulation and abstraction so yeah. what is the difference between that okay uh, encapsulation is encapsulation and abstraction is uh, basically the concept of oops concept for java Uh, as the name suggests, this encapsulation encapsulates the particular data and hides it from the uh, client side of other uh, users or other classes. Um, for example, like uh, data set setters, uh, where uh, we will be able to access a particular variable using the data set setters, uh, no direct access to them. As far as the abstraction, um, it's like a concept, uh, concept of having uh, the method uh, signature and method name uh, without any uh, body provided. Uh, we can implement or uh, extend that particular abstract method and provide our own uh, implementations uh, individually uh, without changing the original abstract method. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, uh, sorry, I I didn't get you. Yeah. What is the difference between abstract class and interface? Okay. Uh, basically, uh, abstract class and interface uh, both uh, does the same for uh, class, but. Uh, for abstract, it can have abstract method as well as uh, regular methods. Uh, as for the interface, it can only have uh, abstract methods uh, for this uh, for interface. And um, when implementing an interface, we need to implement all the available uh, abstract methods. As for abstract, uh, we will be extending the particular abstract method. And using the interface, we can assume multiple linear tests. So we can uh, implement multiple abstract interfaces. Okay. So in a Java eight, we have a functional interface. What is that functional interface? Yeah. Uh, functional interface is basically a uh, type of interface that uh, only one single abstract method is allowed, and the multiple uh, default um, and the static methods can be uh, used, but only one single abstract method. And the same uh, single abstract method type. Uh, it's basically a. It can be accessed using uh, lambda uh, to. Uh, Lambda can be used to access the instance of the particular functional interface. There are four kinds of functional interface, uh, like uh, consumer, uh, predicate function, subway. Um, there are uh, the subjects for consumer, like by consumer, by function, by uh, predicate. Uh, basically, the consumer accepts uh, one uh, one argument and uh, a single argument and doesn't return any outputs. And as for the function, it uh, takes one argument and does the perform uh, some. Processing and returns an output. As for the predicate, it takes an as single argument and uh, does some processing and returns a boolean output of it. As for the supplier, uh, we we know it doesn't get any input, but it uh, provides output. Okay, okay. As you told that, like uh, uh, in predicates, we take the like we take and return the boolean. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. Apart from these uh, four types of uh, inter uh, functional interface, was there any okay. functional interface previously available in the Java before the Java eight? Yeah, um, it's uh, runnable and uh, runnable. There are uh, functional interfaces like uh, runnable one and. Yeah, right now I'm getting only runnable. Uh, there are a few uh, functional interfaces available before that is. Okay. Okay. Uh, fine. Yeah. So, like, uh, in if you want, to, like, what is a immutable class in Java? Okay. Uh, immutable class is basically uh, when the, all the class and its members, uh, is, it doesn't, uh, we cannot change the particular uh, value or type of the, uh, the class. That's what we mentioned it as immutable class. Okay. How you uh, create the, your own immutable class? Okay. Uh, for own immutable class, we need to declare the class as final, and all these uh, members is also static final, and uh, we need to just provide only getters for the particular uh, members, and not setters. Okay, what happens if I have a mutable class uh, in a immutable class which you have created? So, okay, which suppose I have a student class, and in student class I have a department class. So you are returning object. You have a get method for department, okay? And you are returning yeah. the department. 
and in that department that department is a mut mutable class so i can change that class by setting any value uh, i can change the object of that class by setting some values how you will avoid that um When we have a student uh, classes, all the student classes, we have not a department uh, with the final last step. Um, in that class, uh, in uh, I think uh, when we declare the we, uh, we say, um, have you got my question? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, just uh, let me it answer uh, the question. I got it like. Right. Yes, uh, the student class uh, immutable, right? And that is a uh, one where uh, one uh, variable like uh, department. Yeah. But the department is not uh, immutable, but uh, we want to make it as immutable to not yes. Uh, add yes. Uh, okay. Um. Then we can have. Uh, then we can make the subclass extend the. Uh, but I mean, extend the student class. Uh, then we might be able to uh, implement the rule in the subclass also. Yeah, that is what. Like, if you are making a student class as immutable, then no one will able to extend the student class, correct? Because yeah. So in child class, you will not able to do that because there will be no child class. Okay, so like yeah, uh, next. Uh, so what are the? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just remember. Uh, okay. We won't be able to uh, declare the child uh, class without immutable when the student class is immutable. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So like, <clears throat> thank you. Uh, so for next uh, question, so what type of data? Uh, data structure. Sorry. Ah, uh, sorry. What type of uh, design pattern you have used? Ah, uh, basically for design pattern, there are uh, multiple types like uh, singleton design pattern, structural design pattern, um, abstract design patterns, mm -hmm. and uh, design patterns. I am not remembering right now. Uh, okay, so what is the singleton design pattern? Ah, uh, in basically singleton design pattern, we will be able to create only one uh, instance of the particular. Uh, of the particular class, uh, when uh, we'll be declaring a static uh, singleton object, and uh, we'll be able to uh, we'll add a condition to check whether the instance is created or not. If it's created, means we'll be just returning the same instances and every time. Okay, so in my <coughs> in my code, I have called the method get instance. Okay, of that singleton class. Okay, and somewhere okay. again, somewhere in my code again, I call that same method. And I got the object. How I will get to know that these okay. two objects are the same object? Uh, we can. Uh, uh, we will be able to print the particular instance uh, as code. Uh, uh, we can uh, print the asking uh, as address for the particular object. So to check whether the instance is the newly created or existing one. Okay, so is it like a, is it a okay? There is a contract between hash code and equals. What is that contract? Yeah, uh, basically, uh, when we are trying to override an equals method, hash code must also be. I mean, uh, when we try to change an uh, hash code, we will we need to override equals because uh, when two hash code is equals, it uh, certain it certain it does not makes makes the equal method also equals. So that's why we have a contract. To, uh, say that uh, equals method must also be overwrite when we are overwrite for as code method. Okay. If is there any guarantee that if two hash codes are equals means those two objects are equals? Uh, no. Uh, oh. That's the main reason we are uh, overwriting equals. When two hash code is equals means it doesn't guarantee uh, that the object is equals. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. My next question is like a. Have you worked in a multi-threading environment? Yeah, uh, for a particular task, uh, not in a, my most of the project uh, acts on a single threading environment. Okay, so uh, what is the difference between uh, 
sleep method and weight method? Uh, basically, uh, in the sleep method, uh, when a thread has an uh, access to a resource, it doesn't uh, release the uh, access of the particular resource. It will hold the uh, access till the sleep time is over. As for the weight, uh, it uh, releases the access to other uh, threads to access. So, uh, and goes to sleep. I mean, goes to sleep. Yeah. Okay. So, should we handle the sleep and uh, sleep and weight method in a try catch or not? Is it mandatory or is it not uh, mandatory? Yeah, it is mandatory to access the sleep method in try catch so that uh, yeah, it's mandatory to use uh, try catch. Okay, 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 fine. So, in a trading, we have a two types like a most of times we face uh, volatile variables. So what is the volatile okay. variables? Um, basically what we mean by volatile is uh, uh, the particular uh, variable can uh, multiple process, multiple threads can access the particular, particular variable. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, multiple threads can modify the values of the uh, variable. So, um, in that particular case, uh, we refer the uh, object as volatile. Okay. Oh, so okay. next question, like, uh, have you like, uh, so have you work? So which are the classes from the collection we have used? Classes and interfaces. Okay. Uh, for collections, we basically uh, map uh, list uh, set a few. Uh, these are the things I uh, yeah. basically work on. And for that, uh, we have the as map uh, interface and uh, link as map uh, as table and uh, list array list uh, asset everything. Okay, <clears throat> so when we use array list and when we use link list. Basically, uh, in case of uh, array list, when we uh, for linked list, if we want to an uh, order started uh, elements, uh, then in that case we'll be using linked list. As for the array list, uh, we don't uh, it, uh, we uh, do not guarantee the order. Of, uh, as for the as table, uh, the performance for us uh, the linked list is better than. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, uh, for the linked list, uh... Uh, like your voice is uh, cut. I uh, know, I, I, I was thinking in my mind, I'm not getting okay. uh, the button. I just took this. Uh, oh, uh, well, I used to be this, but uh, I'm not able to do that. Okay, so in a collection, we have fail fast and fail safe. What is the difference between fail fast and fail safe? Okay, uh, in fail fast, uh, when we try to, uh, well, the iteration is in process, when we try to modify the, uh, the particular collection, means uh, uh, it uh, fails the particular operation. In that case, we will be mentioning a fail fast. In the case of fail safe, it, uh, it allows for the change of, uh, change of the collection in terms of uh, in okay, so why fail safe is a safer? So can you give an example like which iteration or which way is a fail safe and which way is a fail fast? Okay, uh, basically uh, the ASMAT is a fail fast and Yeah, um, for example, we take as, uh, as map and as table. Uh, as map is in fail fast uh, because it's not synchronized one, but as table is fail safe. Right? It's also synchronized and uh, also it's safe. So that's okay. The okay, fine. So, <clears throat> okay. So, coming to like us, uh, can you uh, do you have any editor open in your laptop? Coding editor? 
Okay. Uh, do you have like have you joined this call from the mobile or laptop? Laptop. Okay. So open a notepad. So I will give you a, a one problem statement. So okay. Okay. So I have a two array. Okay. Int. Okay. Int integer array. Two, four, six, mm. and second is a one, three, five. I have to merge these two array. So how you will merge those two array? Uh, okay. Uh, let's make it a question here. Uh, you have uh, two arrays, three. You need to merge two arrays, right? Yes. Uh, between two arrays, we can have a. Uh, we can use the uh, copy method to. Okay, without any by default methods, can you write your own okay, logic? That's what I'm using. Okay, yeah, sure. That's what I'm using. I will add my own. So, what is microservice architecture? What is microservices? Uh, basically, what we define a microservice is this, uh, instead of having a monolithic application with, uh, with all the audios in single uh, application, we can create uh, small microservices as an instance, uh, different services for each, uh, for each task. And we can have uh, each deploy in different environments and make them communicate via the same uh, single gateway or something uh, so that it is easy to. Uh, Easy to up, upskill or uh, easy to uh, expand the particular business and uh, yeah, reusability also if yeah, it's easy. Okay, so uh, in microservice architecture, we have a, we have you implemented that using a Spring Boot? Yeah, um, I created a microservice using Spring Boot applications. Okay, uh, different. Uh, New new Spring Boot applications for uh, each services. Okay, so have you used the authentication authorization in your app in your microservices? Um, yeah, uh, basically uh, for authentication, there is uh, I'll basically create uh, uh, new uh, microservices which handles all the authentication or uh, authorization process, and from there uh, we can access uh, API gateway to get uh, the results. I mean, we get access to other uh, APIs also. Okay, what is the difference between authorization and authentication? Uh, basically, authentication is when uh, they, they is to check whether the user is valid or not, uh, whether the user is valid or not. As for the authorization, uh, is to check whether the user has an act, uh, I mean, uh, has the permission to access a particular page or particular resource. Okay, fine, great. <clears throat> okay, so. Okay, how much you will rate yourself on the writing SQL out of five? Uh, for SQL, I'll rate uh, three to four uh, because uh, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, consider two uh, table. One is a student and one is a department. Okay. Okay. In a student okay. table, you have department ID as a foreign key. So. You have okay. to print. You have to print all the departments and its count, student counts for that department. Okay. Uh, can you please introduce yourself in a nutshell? What is your uh, project and what is current role?